Hello, my name is Andrea. I'm a tattoo artist from Norway. I wanted to make a review slash unboxing video on this Eva EP7 tattoo machine. It's wireless and super stoked. As you can see in the box, it was a uh, the pen, of course, the tattoo machine, and uh, and the charger, uh, like a cord, and uh, we have uh, this one sheet of instructions and O-rings and the little tray to put it in. As you can see on the instructions manual, there's just five instructions. Hold the green button for four seconds to turn it on. It's uh, going all the way down to four and all the way up to 12. I find it a bit hard to push the buttons. It's like not a big struggle, but you have to be really firm and they are quite hard to push. So that's a bit minus, I think. Besides that, I have tried it out and uh, it felt so free to not having to like think about the cord or where you're rolling with your chair because the cord might get in the way or yeah, it's just like really more free work. And at the beginning it felt like I was gonna lose the machine, like oh my god, I'm gonna drop it because it felt like so, I don't know, uh, weird not to have this cord hanging from it because that's like the... Uh, even though it's not, it maybe in my head has felt like a safety net. And uh, my apprentice also tested it and she said the same. It's like, oh my god, it feels like I'm gonna drop it. I was like, yeah, I know, right? But I guess that's just something you're getting used to and it's just like, oh my god, it's like a whole new world. It was nice to do lines with and nice to do shading with. I would give it like a 5 plus out of 6. And the same goes for my apprentice when she tried it out. She also thought it was like a bit minus with the hard buttons. But other than that, it's just a blast. During my apprenticeship, I always used a coin machine. And the day I was told you're not longer an apprentice, I was allowed to buy my own machine and I went straight to the Cheyenne pen. And I'm gonna show you here now the difference between the length and thickness in the Cheyenne pen and this uh, Ava AP7. And as you can see, it's a bit different. I'm gonna check the weight difference. The weight is gonna be in uh, grams. The Ava is 208 grams. I'm gonna put it down just to be checking. And there we have 208 grams. And the Cheyenne pen, Oh, she's gonna roll. No, oh, there she is. 126. Yeah, 126. But the thing is, even though this is like almost, almost 100 grams more, I wouldn't have guessed it was that much lighter, really. It's, uh, you can't really feel the difference in the weight. It feels the exact same. And the tray that it came with, I felt it was a bit, uh, Weird that the tray was shorter, like the hole is shorter than the machine. It's uh, it's like sticking out, so it wouldn't really be really. I wouldn't feel too safe because it's kind of gliding off on either of the ends. Here I feel like it's kind of stuck in it, you know? I guess if you just put it like gently down and not wiggle it too much, it's gonna be fine. And yeah, so I've been using Cheyenne pen since 2016. I have been a bit like annoyed by the cord because you, you want to be like free to move and it's in the way and you have to pack in so much extra stuff and to just wrap this in with the cling film and the grip wrapper thing, which is fantastic if you ask me. Yeah, I'm really really appreciating that I found this little treasure. And talking about treasures, in Little Norway, which is where my studio is located, a studio with this like most significant view, and I am really wondering, because I've been asking on Instagram and TikTok and all these medias, but not YouTube, and I'm really wondering if anyone in this whole wide world knows if there is another tattoo studio with a view like this, because I haven't seen one, haven't heard about it. Everybody says to me, no, you're the only one, but am I really? Little Norway, you guys. 
and some people, some of my clients even have said that the view is kind of taking the pain away. What I did experience from using it was that I was just wrapping around the whole machine, which I shouldn't have. Or when I wrapped it all around, it was hard for me to, to do this adjustment uh, for the needle length. So what I do now is the cling film and I take it all around. So then I pop a hole for my needle, of course, and then this thing. Uh, one around here and then a new one uh, around the rest of it so I have the grip uh, grip thingy all over the thing but you have to like separate so you're able to twist this it's a delight really also the thickness of it like to hold it it was really not a big difference I'm gonna show you why I didn't feel it was such a big difference with the thickness because usually I have this disposable grip around when I tattoo and uh, yeah and here you can see the thickness of it then really isn't any different, so yeah. And I hope if you buy this pen, you're gonna be as satisfied as I am. Now, if you have any questions or wondering about anything, don't hesitate to ask, drop a comment, and thank you for watching.